Hi there, and welcome back to Chuck's New Adventure. We're going to do a little something different today. Um, instead of going straight over to the vacation video, I um, decided I'm going to take some time and explain to you, one, why I'm doing this, and two, why I'm in a scooter. In December of 2021, at the end of December, I went to the emergency room because I had developed ulcers, pressure ulcers, on both of my feet from some pretty intense walking from our Disney World trip in that October of 2021. The pressure ulcers became infected, especially on my left foot. This resulted in a amputation of my big toe on my left foot and pretty far down on the radial. That was the beginning. What had happened is I was released from the hospital on New Year's Day of 2022 and was progressing in slow healing, very slow healing. After several doctor's visits, it was determined that I had vascular disease in my extremities, in my, in my legs, my lower legs. So there was no real good blood flow down there to actually heal anything. Um, the pressure ulcer on my right foot healed up, did what it was supposed to do, and closed up. After a couple of months of home wound care and repeated doctor's visits to orthopedics, um, it was determined that I needed a vascular study. So I went back in and got myself an ultrasound and found out that my circulation in my legs was not even half of normal. We were at lower 50%, if not down to almost the upper 40% in both legs. Well, that May, the second toe on my left foot died. It turned black and died. So that resulted in an amputation of for, for that toe as well. Progressing on, that healed up fine, did beautiful. I developed a sore on my big toe on my right foot, very tiny. Well, that meant that something was happening there as well. And it ended up where my big toe had to be amputated because the sore increased in size from the size of a pinhead to about the size of my thumb. It was killing the toe. The uh, ultrasound that I had had before also resulted in an angioplasty. I had had an angioplasty on my left leg and they inserted five stints into my left leg to promote healing and improve, of course, improve circulation. My right leg had been deemed to be okay as far as circulation goes until my second angioplasty. My second angioplasty determined that I was going to require an arterial bypass in my left leg. So what they did is in that summer, in July, I had gone into the hospital for surgery they removed a vein on the left side of my right leg and inverted it, turned it upside down, and inserted it into the right half of my right leg, bypassing the femoral artery. That improved circulation in my right, my right leg. My right foot healed beautifully. After the resulting... Um, Ultrasounds, they determined that I was at almost 101% of circulation in my right leg, which was beautiful. My left leg, however, started to do some funny things. It, unfortunately, the arteries started to contract some more, even with the stents. Um, we went in and the there was another toe that started to die on my left foot. 
I went in and this was in December. I went in to have that one removed. Talked to the orthopedic surgeon at that time and I was pretty much fed up with the whole idea of toes just dying because of poor circulation. I just told her, you know, I don't want to really risk it anymore. Let's just go ahead and take all the rest of the toes. And she agreed. She said that was wise. Let's go ahead and do that. Went in. It was day surgery. So it was quick in, knocked me out a little bit, woke me up, and I went home. About 10 days after the surgery, I was, set, I was scheduled for a return visit. The surgical wound had not closed. In fact, it had remained open and it had become infected. So as a result, I was sent back into the hospital for a revision. This revision removed basically a third of my left foot. Now the really sad part about this whole thing, and this is the selfish sad part, we were scheduled to go to Disneyland that year or that next year in 2023 the week after New Year's. We had set it up, everything was moving, everything was going well until this surgery. When I was told that I needed to have the revision done, I looked at my wife, Chris, and I said, that's it. We have to abort the trip. We can't do it. Well, thanks to my good friends who set up the trip for us, Tom and Lynette for Magical Vacation Planners, they were able to postpone the trip rather than cancel. So everything was taken care of on, on that end. The only thing that we had to do was just cancel the dinner reservations we had at the different restaurants and everything else was gonna be handled. It was fantastic. After the surgery, I was in the hospital for about a week and a half. Actually, take that back. Not a week and a half. The better part of six days. <clears throat> I was in the hospital and fighting the infection because there was still some pretty bad bacterial infection in my foot. So they installed the pick line. That was about two months worth of intravenous antibiotics being done at home, mind you. And that was more easy than I expected. Got through that okay. We set up our next trip to Disneyland for May. And it was going to be the week of my birthday and Chris and mine anniversary. I was hoping everything was going to work out. And it did. I was able to be healed enough by the end of April that it was going to be no problem taking the trip. The only problem is I was on weight restriction on my left foot still, and I still am. I have an open wound on the left side of my left foot that has been slowly healing. I'm at the point now where it has gone from about two and a half to two centimeters in diameter. Well, diameter as far as an ellipse goes, two and a half major axis two centimeters minor axis. It is now down at this time, after, wound, after my wound care appointment today, we're at one and a half to one centimeters. One and a half by one. I'm thrilled. Things are closing up. Things are doing what they're supposed to do. So not being able to bear weight meant I needed an electric scooter. This is why I have an electric scooter at the parks. Now, unfortunately, my wife doesn't have the grand adventure that I had. She had injured her knee before the trip and could barely walk and discovered that she needed the scooter after her trip through the Los Angeles airport. We know, should have planned ahead, and we did the best that we could at the time. She went ahead and used the same company that I used to reserve the scooter, Scooter Bug, and they were able to deliver her scooter 
on the, the morning that we were supposed to be in Disneyland. Well, the wonderful thing about that, my daughter stayed back at Grand Californian, picked up the scooter, and drove the scooter out to us in the park at Plaza Inn right for our breakfast. So we were able to have our character interactions, able to enjoy breakfast, and Chris was able to enjoy the rest of the day with me, two of us, cruising down Main Street in electric scooters. So that's why. The purpose of the videos that I'm doing and this came to me because I used to be able to help people through airports. My job was as a wheelchair pusher at the airports or at DIA. And I, when I found out that I wasn't going to be able to bear weight too much, it was like, I thought about this and it's like, no, wait a minute. I can now give you guys the perspective of what it's like to have mobility issues and moving through airports, moving through theme parks, moving through crowds, doing everything else that you would be able to normally do with two legs, but you can't anymore. So now I'm sharing that experience with you. And honestly, after we have gotten back from this trip and now that I'm editing the videos, I'm realizing just how much of a real blessed experience it is. The idea that we rely so heavily on our lower extremities, on our legs, just to get us around is profound when that's taken away. Truly profound. Now, I'm very lucky. I'm going to be able to bear weight on my legs again. I will be able, I will be able to walk very, very soon. Most likely, probably by about mid or end of summer. No problems. The thing is, there are some folks out there who just can't. One of the things that I would like to show and hopefully bring awareness to is those folks who are in scooters, who have mobility devices or mobility aids at theme parks, they need some consideration too. And I want to be able to show that. I want to be able to show you that they're there for their vacation just as much as anybody else. And maybe let's cut them a break. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys continue to watch. The next video, yes, we'll be right back to the theme parks and right back to having fun. But for now, I just wanted to make you guys aware of what was going on. Anyway, thank you very much. Please hit like, subscribe. Please enjoy what we, I hope you enjoy what you've been seeing. Leave a comment. Just let me know. Thanks much.